Hey guys, this is what happened, but you weren't here, so you missed it. Just another crazy Wednesday at the Mad Rose D house. So much going on. Hi, honey. Hi. It's the best time of the day because my beautiful husband is home. Gorgeous. <laughs> right? Give it a thumbs up because he is. All right, so this is what happened, guys. Remember, oh, there's, Homer's like, what happened? Tell me a story. And I'll recap it. All right. <laughs> this is what happened. Yesterday. Well, let me just preface this by saying we've been having internet issues probably since we've been in this house, which is what, like almost 10 years? Yep. <sighs> Yesterday, I finally got fed up and I said, that modem's going back. We're getting a new one. I mean, we haven't had that modem for nine years. We've been getting new modems off and on for like the past 10 years. So. I brought it back, and as you saw on yesterday's vlog, they gave me the same modem. Not the same one, but the same type in a bag. And I was like, I don't want this. So I had, I had to take it, otherwise, you know, I wasn't getting on the internet. And when I got home, it wasn't connecting. So I called up, and they miraculously got it connected. I don't know how they did it. I think it was probably just a coincidence. But it worked for like five hours. That's why yesterday's vlog was so late. How pissed was I? Extremely. <laughs> I was pissed. I had to jump on my neighbor's uh, Wi-Fi connection, which I had to do outside. <laughs> I felt like a ninja. I was stealing internet from my neighbor outside with a laptop. It was crazy. I don't want to do that anymore. That's cheap. So this morning, no, actually, my husband called last night. You called and said, fix, fix this. this. <laughs> And they were like, eh, we, we can't fix it. We're going to send someone out. And you said, no. <laughs> and I agreed. I don't want anybody here. They don't know what they're doing. And they just make it worse. We're technicians, both of us. So we're trained, certified technicians. We know BS when we see it. Exactly. So, yeah. I was all prepared to get up this morning and before work go and bring that back to one of the other cable offices, bring it here, upload the videos, then go to work like it was a normal day, late, and like miss out on money and everything. So I was all ready, got Sean ready for school, you got out the door, honey, and uh, I'm ready to disconnect the modem and I see that it's starting to boot up. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and then I'm thinking, oh my god, what if this is like a fluke and it's working and then it goes dead and I'm screwed again. And tonight we have like four videos that have to go up. So that would just like totally suck. Yeah. So then it finally booted up. It took a while. It took like 20 minutes. You're running away to the, uh, to the, thanks honey. Thanks for leaving me hanging. Just kidding. Go ahead. He just got home from work. Anyway, let's talk to Homer about it. Hi, baby. So, <laughs> and Maddie's over there practicing her craft at the piano. Hi. Hi. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that. And um, so this is what happened. I went to work and everything was great. The internet works. Keep your fingers crossed though because uh, I'm not totally convinced. I guess what happened was last night when Mark called them, they were like, oh, we're going to check the lines and see if anything is going on on the lines between the server and you. And it actually started booting up about 8 o'clock, which is when they would start working their day. So I'm assuming that they fixed something on the line and that it wasn't the modem at all. <sighs> Whatever. So I thought I dodged a bullet there. And then I am 10 minutes away from home and my cell phone rings. It's my son's school. <laughs> hey, we've got no power. We're sending him home. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so thankfully, Kristen and Maddie were able to get him off the bus. And he wasn't freaking out. So thank God. Sean, you did good today, buddy. You did good. So that was another bullet dodged. And uh, let's hope there's not a third bullet. Because you know, like on uh, New Girl, <laughs> The, uh, things come in threes, so I don't want to know what the third thing is. Alright? So that's the story with that. 
Oh, little vulture. commotion in the yard here. There's a giant freaking vulture in the tree right there because it was over there with that thing. Oh, it's so disgusting. It does look like it's in the cartoons. The guts are all over the grass. Are they? That's fabulous. Great. Well, let's see. Let's, go. Bye -bye. let's see if this thing flies down. So creepy. Oh, honey, you're doing such a good job with these. Look at all those um, tomatoes ready to uh, yes. be eaten soon. There's going to be hundreds. Pollinated myself. <laughs> Maybe thousands when we're done. Let me see. This seems like it's going to produce a lot. Every little yellow flower is another tomato, so there's at least a hundred easy on there already. No, I don't like that vulture. He's not nice. Here's a little update on the basil too. Seems to be doing really well. So that's good. Oh, look, it's the Homer look-alike. Get out of here. Hey, Homer, do you know how to make a Greek salad? No, I don't. Maybe Ma knows. Hey, Ma, do you know how to make a Greek salad? Well, Homer, a traditional Greek salad is lettuce with tomato, cucumber, red onion, feta cheese, and of course some olives with a dressing of olive oil, salt, and dried basil. So that's, you like that, Sean? That's pretty pasta. much, yes. <laughs> We're having pasta, but I'm talking about a Greek salad right now. So that's in the traditional one. You can add a lot of different things and especially uh, an Americanized Greek salad they will add some maybe some pepperoncini some green pepper even I've seen some uh, stuffed grape leaves with rice and mint uh, it's pretty much endless if it's a vegetable you could stick it in there and call it a Greek salad I think it's okay to call it a Greek salad as long as it's got this secret ingredient feta cheese so if you put feta cheese along with your um, olive oil based dressing and salad leaves, you could pretty much call it a Greek salad. But let's see how ours is going to turn out. Alright, so I've got everything ready to go. Now remember, don't make your salad too soon before dinner, otherwise it's going to be like droopy poopy. So I've got my lettuce in the bowl. Make sure it's nice and dry because nobody likes a soggy salad. And I'm going to put in my little grape tomatoes and red onion, cucumber, green pepper. So get that all in there. Oh, looking yummy already. Ooh, can you smell that onion? Mm -hmm. Smelling good already. I'm just going to do a little pre-mixing here because if I leave everything for the top, it's going to be a big mess. Actually, this bowl is a little bit small because it's so chock full of goodness, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And here I've got my pepperoncini cut up and my feta cheese. So I'm going to put that in as well. Oh, I'm getting hungry just looking at this, besides the fact that it's almost 9 o'clock. <laughs> kind of late. Alright, so before I mix that, I'm going to put my salt. Well, not too much because the feta cheese is pretty salty too my dried basil and I can remember growing up and the salad was served just olive oil but in America here <laughs> for my family I like a splash of vinegar but it's whatever you like I mean as a kid growing up my family's not Greek they're Croatian which is pretty close to Greece anyway so a lot of the food is pretty similar so put as much olive oil as you like. Don't overdo it, you know? Then we're going to toss that and of course I'm going to serve the olives and the croutons separately because not everybody likes both of those. So it's if you want it. You Just can like put the it on there. That have to be taken back to the store, it? No, it's not the olives that have to be taken back to the store, Kristen. Alright, so I'm going to toss this and uh, we'll be almost be ready to eat. Oh my, I see the first tasty taster has arrived to the dinner table and it just happens to be a Greek. <laughs> You're going to give me a, uh, a critique on the Greek salad? Mm. 
Is it as good as Famous Fontana? Yes. The Greek Cafe? Delicious. Excellent. Oh, honey, I want to dive in there. I'll give you a hundo if you eat that with your face. No. <laughs> no takers, huh? Oh, well. I tried. And by the way, we're having uh, pasta with vodka sauce. The uh, imported one that we got at the supermarket the other night. So, looks like it's going to be a long night. Because it's already 9 o'clock and we haven't seen any shows yet. So, <sighs> see you tomorrow. <laughs> Till then, much love.